And what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the, to the channel. And today, I'm just going to have a brief explanation on how to enable or force enable 120 hertz for all Oculus Quest 2 uh, games and even for Oculus Link. As you guys know, Oculus Update V28 just came out, which enabled 120 hertz and a lot of cool features for the Quest 2. And I will show you guys how to force enable 120 hertz uh, through side quests using AB, ABD commands and just confirming that it does work in Oculus Link games. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up side quest. If you don't have side quest, this video is not how to uh, how to um, install or use it, but just these specific commands. So you're going to want to put these in order with your Quest 2 on and make sure you have the 120 hertz option enabled in experimental features or else it won't work. So you're just going to run through, make sure your Quest 2 is connected and run all three of these commands in order. Once that is done, you're going to just tap the um, sleep button on your Quest 2 and put it to sleep and wake it back up and there you go 120 hertz should be enabled everywhere on the quest 2 including uh including your oculus home and any quest 2 apps you run now it just depends on how graphically intense the game is in order to hit 120 hertz on the standalone headset but this also works for oculus link and if you go um, into your Quest 2 and look at the settings, it still shows 90 hertz, but it actually is running at 120 hertz. I was just playing Pavlov, and I double-checked that the game was running at 120 hertz and that my latency was lower than what it usually is as 90. And personally, I can tell, see, and feel the difference, and it's super nice. It's awesome that Oculus built these um, panels to stand 120 hertz, and this headset is probably now the best... VR headset on the market. Hopefully this um, video helped you guys out and hopefully you guys are able to enjoy that 120 hertz buttery smoothness. I will see y'all in the next one.